Hi, I don't know anything about cordless engines, but I will try to present this book as best as I can. I don't know exactly what the heck it is. Uh, it seems to be a collection of pamphlets that have been bound into the single book with this nice stamped gold title, um, but was it done by a company to uh, sell to many people, or did an individual order this done for his own private personal collection? Uh, was it done for a, an organization, a union, uh, a small number of people? Don't know. But it is a collection of pamphlets from the early to mid-1890s um, from companies who manufacture and sell the cordless engine. And this is definitely one of the very nicest books that I've ever had in my possession, and I am not exaggerating. This is a very cool book. Okay, let's see. What do we see? We see an inscription. I uh, can't really read it right now. To somebody in pencil, white pencil. Um, okay, no title page. No index. Nothing but white. And it starts off... Let me get right into it. The Corliss engine is built by the Corliss Steam Engine Company, Providence, Rhode Island, embodying the latest improvements of George H. Corliss, its original inventor. Uh, what we have here is, this appears to be a photograph, a halftone. No, it's not halftone. It doesn't have the little dots, but um, a duotone? Is that what they called it? Um, the Corliss engine is built by Corliss Steam Engine Company. Beautiful. Nice, it's like a duotone photograph. This, you, you will see, this is just packed full of wonderful engravings. This is an engraving, the Eclipse Corliss engine. And the reason it says the Eclipse is because we're into the pamphlet of the company that manufactures these, which is, um, it says 1894, Frick Company Engineers. Now they, they're going to talk about their company and their, the, you know, plan of their shops. And they talk, each one of these pamphlets talks in detail about their engines manufacturers, about the materials they're made in. Beautiful engravings, and I do mean beautiful. Ah, uh, these are just grand. I mean, they kept, these companies kept engravers employed for years. And not just any engravers, I don't think. So, we invite you to study the following propositions now. Uh, Eclipse Cross Compound Coreless Engine, Coreless Horizontal Engine. Oh, yeah, right, okay. I don't know about these machines, but I do know a beautiful machine when I see it, and I see it. Features peculiar to the Coreless Engine. Ah, uh, lots of diagrams. Lots of diagrams. I better speed it up because there's so much in here. Diagrams there. Yeah, more work for the engravers, drafters, draftsmen, more great diagrams, Eclipse Coreless Tandem Compound Condensing Engine for Company Engineers. Yeah, Eclipse Engine, lots of information. Here you go. The next pamphlet, the Robert Wetherill, Robert Wetherill and Company, Coreless Steam Engine, Steam Boilers, Power Transmitting Machinery. That's what it's all about. A different engraver, but uh, equal quality, previously even higher quality than previous. Wonderful work. Same kind of content. Look at that. Engines, diagrams, plan compound cordless steam engine, plan tandem compound, cordless steam engine, plan triple compound. And so on. Now, I believe. Uh, plan cross count compound engine with direct driven railway generator. Ooh, ooh. And it just boggles my mind about the hit, how these were used and how this country was powered by these things. Driving, you know, uh, mining, railroads, shipping, just all kinds of neat stuff. And one of my favorite illustrations, vertical coreless engine. And now we're, yeah, we're still in the Wetherill Company. This is great. This is a, a feed water heater. I've seen one of these from the late 1890s. And this printing is in a copper ink or some kind of copper plate type printing. Uh, pretty darn cool.
Now we're into Fraser and Chalmers, and unfortunately, no, uh, just go straight into the introduction here. Standard horizontal coreless engine. For almost. Uh, well, these vertical engines are fantastic. Uh, yeah. Horizontal tandem compound engines. Well, they're all horizontal horizontal blowing engine for, for supplying air to mine miners. I don't know. Uh, direct acting double rail hoist with coreless engines. Hoist for hoisting. Things like miners up out of the ground, do you think? Do you know? I would imagine. Electric power plant. Uh, here's an actual photograph, and this is, uh, I believe, what they call a duotone. Uh, Philadelphia. Now we're into Philadelphia Engineering Works Limited. Air pump and jet condenser. Uh, in independent duplex air pumps and jet condenser. How does the thing work? Well, there it is. That's how it works. Tandem compound condensing Philadelphia cordless engine. Oh, nice one. Yeah. Hmm. Hudson Electric Light and Power Company, 14th Street, Hoboken, New Jersey. Now we're into Nolson and Kelly. Improved Nolson releasing gear. And here's stamped, hand stamped stamp. Patented June 17, 1890. Kind of crooked and purple ink. Hand stamped on there. Just, they were just letting everyone know that it's patented. And a few of marine engine. Again, the history there. What kind of ship? St. Louis Iron and Machine Works now. I better... Yes. Diagrams, diagrams. Mackinac, governors. See, cross-section diagrams. Great stuff. Wilkin Manufacturing Company. Um, the Weatherall, back? No, White Hill, okay. By the Wilkin Company, I guess. No, White Hill, now we're into another. See, there's a lot of different companies represented here. The White Hill Corliss Engine. I mean, I've, I've, I've looked at Corliss Engine books and pamphlets on eBay for a long time, and I've never seen anything like this book. I've seen a pamphlet here, a pamphlet there, um, but nothing like this bound mystery book. And now we're into the um, Hoffman and Billings Manufacturing Company, and the ink has changed to blue. Look at that. I mean, really. Ah, art. You know, it's like, it's, a, it's technical art. <laughs> It's the best of both worlds right there. That's the good stuff. Hoffman and Billings Manufacturing Company. I don't know if you can see just the, the typeface. It says used. You probably can't really see it. Typefaces used in here are fantastic. 1890s, coming out of that, that cowboy pioneer era into the modern age as we know it today. Fantastic stuff. Now this is kind of green ink, the Bartlett Corliss engine. Now this, there's definitely a green tins, different company, different color. They have Bartlett and Company. Kind of different company, I'm kind of getting lost. The Beckett Foundry and Machine Company. It looks like we're getting to uh, smaller, shorter pamphlets right here towards the end. Slide valve engines, hoisting engines. Frisbee's patent clutch, double drum reversible hoisting engines, and there we have it. There's the end of the book. Now the condition of the book, as you can see, binding's not all that great. Leather, leather bound, not that hot. But the content, it is, it does hold together. The pages aren't falling out. Uh, I suppose it could be um, rebound if you wanted to, but that's not necessary. There it is, what I think is a unique, a fairly, at least a fairly unique book. And thank you for watching.